Hey plants your friends, welcome back to another new video. Today we're gonna go plant shopping at a new plant shop that I've never been before. I'm crossing my fingers, I have some good stuff because I drove all the way to the town ah, and the traffic was bad and not no matter the curbs I hit these streets. I'm so confused, girl. I'm so confused. My heart is going like Peter Patter, Peter Patter. But I'm really excited and I I'm I'm hoping they have some good stuff. So yeah, and I'll have the address linked below for you guys. But first I gotta ask him if it lets me film. If he doesn't, then this video won't even go online. But if he does, then hey. Alrighty, plant besties. So I'm gonna show you guys this B row that I have because like I took a lot of B row, a lot of B row. <laughs> I decided to like, I was gonna like slow it down. I don't know if this is, this is not slowed down. Um, Look at that beautiful, these trees. Like I'm literally lost with words. How, how they had so many great plants. I cannot believe I haven't been here before like it was like a hidden gem to be honest and we also went we also go to another location i think you're, you're guys gonna see in a couple days but i went to another look at that beautiful this oh my god you guys the canary plant was flowering it was flowering they had so many amazing plants that's a beautiful plant right there like look at that just look at that gorgeous plantita they it had a lot of hoyas too like a lot of uncommon not just not rare but like very uncommon Hoyas. Hoyas that I only have in my collection. Like, I don't, you guys, I'm not a Hoya person at all, you know? And for some reason, it just happened. I don't know. It just, it just happened. Like, a lot of us Hoya people out there, <laughs> I don't even know if I consider myself a Hoya person, but I have a lot of Hoyas. And I found that I'm really, really obsessed with them. Okay, I think right now we're starting the actual plant shopping. That was a lot of B roll. Okay, so this is a really, really great find. I wish my boyfriend was with me when I went. They had so many amazing kind of plants. They have pitcher plants, they have Venus flytraps, and they had the sundews, which I think one of the sundews was blooming. Just look at that. Like, they had so many. Like, they had so many guys. Like, y'all need to go. It's like, I think, downtown. Like, <laughs> it's like downtown in San Antonio. Please go check it out if you can. I promise you, I promise you, you're gonna leave with a plant. I was so strong, you guys. Also because all my cards are negative right now. So I literally, didn't, and that's why I say decline in the register. I, I didn't have a choice. But if I had money, I would've 1000%. I would've gotten a sundew, like one of these carnivorous plants for my boyfriend because I know he loves carnivorous plants. And I'm just noticing too, I'm seeing a lot of, like I've, I've never really heard of people saying that you're supposed to like put coniferous plants in a watering tray. Like I've never seen that or heard about that. I know that you're supposed to keep it nice and moist. Um, also like they love sphagnum moss, but I notice a lot of these people like they put them in like sitting water. So over here like you can see a lot of small plants that are super duper cute for terrariums. These small little pots didn't have a price. I think this is a lipstick plant. Correct me if I'm wrong. Look at that beautiful collade on the floor. It was massive. I, I don't know if I filmed it, but it was huge. They have some staghorn ferns right there. And what else do they have? Here are the Venus fly traps. An amazing selection. And here are all of the beautiful sundews. Yes, one of the sundews blooms. Aren't they just so good at them cute? And they look really good too. At the very, very bottom, well, first the ponytail palms. These are baby ones. I don't know if you guys know this, but I didn't <laughs> like when I first started doing or when I was first collecting plants I didn't know these were like ponytail palms but they are they're like baby ones they're just so good at them cute you do see them like in the big boxers like the big ones but they come with only one um here are some nice looking string of hearts stunning beautiful in the other location they had the very good one which is even more insane for a really decent price but you're gonna see that video and another video so if you don't want to miss that you haven't subscribed go subscribe miss girly look at those beautiful drancinas i think it's called kiwi and the massive fiddle leaf fig stunning also this is like something different again i had to like do this because like they had a really lot of music and um i'm trying to pay my bills so i didn't want to get a copyright and also like i was really really nervous so this this did help me a lot to um not rush and just take my time look at that oh my god but yes to to take my time and not because when i want to i don't know when i go and you know i'm already filming and then if i talk it just brings more attention to me and i do not want that at all 
that is some really beautiful pots oh my god this was like such an aesthetic and a vibe i mean 59 that is not bad i feel like it's like planted modern moderately planted i don't mind that price if you know especially if i know if i can see who made it like you know this like that's a thing and then look at this one it was like so modern it was giving life trends you guys <laughs> it didn't have a price though i think it was going for like 30 like what do you think it was going for I just i love this like i really really do love this and i see this like a a podcast kind of vibe like we're just like sitting and just chatting look at this i think it's called a tiniki look at this you guys and the audacity that i had to even touch the leaf like wow i had to sorry about the background noise um i think it was let me zoom in the because i can't even see the price how much is it 236 dollars i think that's not a bad price i gotta get mine to that size um i think it doubled in size since i got it this summer so i'm, I'm proud of mine but even then if you're looking one look at that 236 for, oh yeah, i forgot to pause it i think it was a a tiniki here's a, a limelight drancina so gorgy honest look at this 28 Have to like give her a little her little moment just look at that i feel like everybody needs this like transina it is so easy to look after you guys and they they're okay with like low light conditions you know they won't dry but they'll be okay and if it's such a neonish color that it's gonna pop in any dark corner that you can place it in they have some really interesting cacti succulents and cactuses like you're gonna see they had so many of them like also, he didn't tell me I was being like, you know, she's muscle. I was putting my nose. Uh, he was telling somebody else that if it has like a red dot on it, like those little stickers, and it's just 50% off. So whatever you see, it's 50% off. And I didn't know until like later on the video, but let's see, this one was 35. So that's what, like 50, 17.50, I believe. That's not bad. That's not bad. To be honest, I've seen it. I remember recordings for a little bit cheaper than that. But even then, it's a beautiful. I think it's called an Ethereum. I think I showed it in a minute. I wasn't paying attention. They have some other fun stuff too. Like, look at those candles. I should have sniffed the candles. I cannot believe I did not smell the candles. This was one of my faves. Walls. Like, look at this. So many beautiful snake plants, you guys. <gasps> wow. I yeah, know. I love my snake plants. The wall finds and Severus have really caught my eye. I remember when these were like very uncommon and like difficult to find and very expensive back then. Like back then that would have been like $120. Now it's $38. And I like how because look at those roots. Like it wants a new pot. You know. In other words, it has already a developed root system. So I would have snatched this one real quick. They had one in the back and it was putting like a little another leaf. I would have got that one instead, but beautiful. Look at this one, $32, Sansevera Cylindrica. Oh, look at those fingers. I feel like this will be so cute, like in, in your desk, and you can put like your your um, wedding ring, is that what you call it? I also do that, but my boyfriend hasn't proposed yet, so. This one had so many, it, it had more babies coming to the side, like, you know, get more out of your buck, my girl. That one is a keeper. That's not a, this is not a bad deal. Like, I would have so got this and I would have placed it in a terracotta pot. But it looks so good and cute. They had this one. I was kind of embarrassed to show it. Okay, so it was a Sansevera Night Owl. I've seen these at Walmart for like, I think $15, like in a six inch pot that was like, really, really full. But I'm not trying to, like, you know, smack, like, you know, not, you know what I mean? I'm here to give you the best prices, you guys. That is my job. That is what I want to do. I want to show you what there is locally. And I'm telling you, this shop had so many amazing plants. And then now I know like they have like 50% off sales. So I love this shop so much. But at the same time, if I see it somewhere else cheaper, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> You're my bestie. Look at these little baby Sansevarias. I had I don't know what happened to mine. I had one. I think I still okay, I see it. Never mind. It's like in the back. Um that's a really cute Sansevaria.
beautiful. I just love asparagus leaves. Our foliage. And of course, AZZ. We love our AZZs. So, so beautiful. What else do they have? What else do they have? They the look up on the shiny. There you go. <gasps> look at those colorful pots. Oh my god. They have these pepperonias. See, like somebody walked in, that's when he was telling the, the people in the house. And I was like, oh, those red dots mean like it's 50% off. But here's, here are some nice looking pepperonias for $24. If that wasn't so, that would have been $12. And I would have snatched it real quick. They have these like baskets on the walls, which I've seen a lot of influencers or plenty creators um, having. And they're kind of nice. Like I would actually buy some. I need to know where they get. I think it's on Amazon. Look at these pots. Sorry, it's my water bottle. If that sounds. Uh, so over here, they had a bunch of racks of like beautiful plants. And here I am showing you it's $21 for this beautiful Chinese money plant, aka UFO plants, aka Paleo Pepperonio. <laughs> Those are all her names, but she's gorgeous. And mine is finally thriving. I found that all she wants is just like consistent moisture on her on her pot, um, a lot of airflow, and a lot of light. Mine's doing good as of now because I usually used to always kill them. This is a, I think I was looking, okay, it's $15. It's some sort of philodendron. I think it's a, I don't want to say dark lord. I don't think that's a dark lord. I don't know, but it's nice. It would look really, really cute in a terracotta pot. So this is where they have like three Hoyas, as you can see. They have this, which is, is a Hoya Ovada Splash, I believe. Um, I was trying to lift it. Sometimes like the leaves are stuck in there and I don't want to force it because then I'm going to rip it and I feel like I have to pay for it. So <laughs> I just left it. But here's a beautiful location. And then I had another location, right? That one caught, you see it? Yeah. Pick it up, David. Show it to us. This one really caught my attention. Look at that new leaf. It looks like a candy. Love, I love. I have a baby one that I got from the Pulga. <laughs> Forty-five dollars cute red is that what it said red location it's stunning you guys i love it so much look at the way it's dancing that's so cute here's another okay this hoya you guys it looks like my hoya wayeti but it's not it is beautiful the back of the leaves i was like in shock the front is kind of cute but if you flip it to the back there you go you can see some of the back of the leaves wow those veins Stunning, 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 stunning. I didn't even show the price, but I showed it to you. It was $14. I don't think so. I think it was like $21. They have this other one that you saw in the intro. Look at that. This is called Hoya Sunrise. It is gorgeous. Oh my god. $26. Four inch pot. Hoya Sunrise. Beautiful, you guys. And your smell. I wish I had like $100 I can spend, or at least $50. <laughs> they have some asparagus ferns which I think I try to like show you but it doesn't want to focus they have the most beautiful and delicate leaves beautiful and stunning they have some nice looking pepperonias I'm really surprised how their plants look amazing like my pepperonias would have been dead I don't know how they keep them alive here's another Hoya $28 black margin hoya oh, yeah. oh my god that leaf y'all see the leaf with like the half bare and the other half like barely <gasps> instagram worthy oh my god i would have snatched that one <gasps> you guys okay <laughs> here are some more pepperonias here are some baby monsteras i see a brazil hidden right there in the corner of the screen this is a pepperoni i believe all right so this one at corpus and I wanted it so bad, but I had a budget, so I couldn't like overspend. Sixteen dollars in Kana belted, belted. Oh my god, she's stunning. Again, she would look so cute in a terracotta pot. <laughs> I think everything is good in terracotta. Look at those fuzzy leaves, you guys. Oh my god. And that one was so nice and full. There is a goldfish, I believe, in the very, very bottom of the corner of the screen. Look at that mustard leaf. For a second, I was like, are these like sport variegated? But I don't think so. They would have known. Here are some network calatheas. 
Now, these are cheaper, cheaper in the big box stores, but at the same time, this is a really, okay, it's 41. <laughs> It's $20 at the big box stores, but, 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 usually they have like medibugs or like pests or whatever. I know these plant shops take care of the plants like crazy. So if you get this one, I would rather pay $41 and know damn well that it was well taken care of. And you know, it doesn't have any pests or anything. So not a bad price. These, I don't know, what is it called? Fishbone. Okay, my mom got me one of these, you guys. Oh my God. But uh, I have to throw it away because I had a scale. And that's how my massive most of the list was I got scale. I don't mess, I don't play with scale. I talked, I, no. And then I have scale, I just throw it away. But that was a nice looking one. So always, especially in plant shops, always, 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 even in big box stores, check your plants. I don't quarantine them, even though it's recommended. I don't do that, that's too much work. But <laughs> I probably should though. Maybe later on. But ahorita no. Um, Always look for pests. Always look for medibugs, spider mites, or scale, or aphids. Those are like the main popular ones. Marvis for fern, philodendrons. I think it doesn't say what it is. It says epipyrillium, which is a philodendron. Oh no, Pothos and Fellow. Oh, cause, okay. This is a super blue. I'm pretty sure it's a super blue. What do you think it is? Cause like the skeleton key also looks the same, but I can see more of a blue in this. I know some might say like it's green, but if the stable blue has like a reflection of blue, like you can see the blue right there. I'm pretty sure what's the stable blue for fifteen dollars. That is not a bad deal. Some nerve plants, rich of pepperonias at the very bottom. Put those in right there. Here are some more of those beautiful. Oh, I have I forgot the name that fast. Is this plumosa fern? Oh, asparagus fern. See, again, it doesn't want to focus, but isn't that beautiful though? Like, you gotta see it in person, because like in the camera, the video is just not gonna work out. You gotta see it in person to experience it. I love that. Here are some nice looking pepperonias. Oh, okay, David. Of course, it goes to the potos <laughs> instead of the one above. This is a potos enjoy. Oh no, oh my god, pearls and jade, my bad. That's a really good deal. Alocasia, someone. Yeah, see what I see? Oh, okay. Just go to the allocation. Oh, okay, yeah. So, this is a jungle, jungle, oh my god, jungle bogey philodendron. Yes, pick it up and show us the name of the price. Look at those shiny new leaves. Wow. It is $20, jungle boogie, sounds like booger, but <laughs> it's beautiful. Mine died, but I would have I would have gotten that one for sure because it's a really it's a plan to look after. I died because like I was, I had my face when I was quite depressed. <laughs> so I lost a lot of plants, but it's a beautiful plant and it's really, really easy. Look at that trend scene, I, I didn't even, Okay, these are beautiful and I've seen them a lot more. I'm gonna show you in some other spots, but this Hoya Lisa really caught my eye. $45 for this six inch pot. Did I pick it up? I don't think I picked it up because I think it was like, the owner was like right next to me and I was so shy. <laughs> look at those little hands. Those new leaves are coming in, look so good and cute. The leaves are really big. Like, I was trying to compare my hands. They're big. Oh my God. For some reason, I don't have a Hoya Lisa, and they have one. I need to get one. The look, and here's another. It's a Hoya Lacunosa. I have this one, but the other one, the Hoya Lisa, kind of looks the same to me as a princess, a, a crimson. No, a Hoya princess, but it's not. It's two different things. Philodendron Fuzzy Petitool, sixty dollars. I don't know about this one. Do you think that's a good deal? Like, is this the one that Costa Farm is selling? Like, in those massive pots for, like, $50? Or, I don't think so. What do y'all think? It's pretty, though. Okay, this one also caught my eye. And there was only one left, you guys. Uh, it's a Syngonium, I think, called Frost. Look, oh my god. Look how full this is. <gasps> 
Oh my God. Okay, forty-one dollars in Gonyam Frost. Beautiful. <laughs> I wish I'd be like super duper careful to like put the plants back, because like I don't care. If I break anything, I gotta pay for it. Um, this Mikeins was on a, on a poll, which was super duper cool. Uh, Seventy-two dollars though. Okay. It's gorgeous though, it's gorgeous. Okay, um, right over here we have some spider plants. Wait, oh my god, I'm so sorry. These are these are air plants. Oh my god, what is this spider plants? It's because it looks like spiders to me. But <laughs> I love air plants. I have like a couple and they're really easy to look after. They just need like a lot of light. Um, and direct is best. And to water them, like I water mine every 15 days like i don't really have a schedule schedule i just water them when i feel like they're super duper dry and they'll show you like they'll get kind of wrinkly like they won't look like this and then i, I place it on my fish tank but you can place it like in a in a bowl of like distilled water i don't or rain water is best too i don't know how they wreck to tap water because i don't want to with tap water so i don't know if they're delicate to that but after you dunk them to water and i leave mine in the fish tank for like four six hours sometimes and then i pull them out i let them dry and i make sure there's airflow because there cannot be water in the ground like in the middle of the plant because that's how it's gonna die and then after that that's it so a lot of airflow a lot of lights and water when it's dry but like give them like a, a bath basically this was like their cacti section plus cactus and succulents and they had so many massive ones here's a fire stick 358 pretty fun <laughs> uh, but i mean look at the size it's huge like look at this wow insane now these if they do get sun stressed even with the cold weather those whenever they get stressed out basically too much sun or um cold temperatures or i also believe like hot temperatures but that usually burns to them um they get these beautiful colors like when we go plant shopping in the winter which is going to be very soon we're gonna see a lot of beautiful succulents in the big box stores with these beautiful colors because they're stressed out <laughs> i wish i looked beautiful when i'm stressed out this was a really cute arrangement that'd be a really cute gift for somebody that has like a lot of windows <laughs> beautiful like what do you call those like cement pots here are the cacti for the cacti lovers. I know there are some, there's not a lot, but there are some hardcore cacti succulent lovers. So this is for you. We're gonna go back to the plant section, don't worry. I mean like the house plants, like, how do I say it? Um, what do you call it? Aeroids, aeroids. But over here is going to be for the seconds to come back. So now see your fish hooks. $20, you guys, like look at this. Look how long and luscious it is. Somebody go adopt it right now. <laughs> by the way, this video is not sponsored by the, by the by the shop. I just looked up online instead of searching plant nursery, which I used to always look up to, um, or search up. I just searched up plant shops instead, and then I found like three of them, which I never knew. So I ended up went ahead and just checked it out, and thank God that I did because now I know that's a really good price for that plant. Now I know that. I know where to go if I want to get some really uncommon plants for a decent price. So I'll be filming a lot more in these locations if they let me. Um, it's up to them because, um, yeah, I don't want to get yelled at, you know. But here is, I'm going to show you guys the other one, the curly orchid cactus. I'm not going to show it. There you go. Um, or curly sue, $31. Beautiful. I have seen these from Coastal Farm. Um, for $20 in these, these eight inch baskets, I guess you can say. But even then, if you want one right now, these are these look very lush and healthy. Look at these cactus. Are these cactus or cacti? I know these two different things. Those thorns. It's like red, like pinkish. Beautiful. This one really kind of freaked me out. I thought it was like ornamental. $30. I thought it was like 
Nelly's, right? But it's not. That's how it is, which is really, really cool. I think this will be like a really fun plant to give to somebody that's into like cactuses. No, that's into plants. Okay. And it's like April Fools. That would be like a really funny gift to give. You know, I know, cliche. Um, these are kind of cute too. The lady, I think one of the workers was like next to me. And I don't know if she needed to like display these, but she left and I felt so bad. I was like, see, I was, I was leaving, I was like, my bad. <laughs> Cause like, I, felt, I thought I was interrupting her. So I had to, I had to move. I, didn't, I couldn't show you the rest, but I do go back, I think so. And I show you the rest. I thought it was 50% off. Oh, but I didn't know until like the very last minute. See, I was so shy, you guys. Like, I know, I'm like, I'm so bad at filming in public, but mira. I just got this one at Home Depot. That is not a bad price, okay? But I got mine at Home Depot for $15. Um, but again, this is a great plan. And again, I really, 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 really want to start supporting my local shops. Like, I really do want to, you guys. Like, I really do. But it'd be expensive sometimes. <laughs> um, but I think I'm getting to that phase. I hear that it's the chair it's not my fart I swear to god it's the chair okay um beautiful okay I'm gonna stop putting my hands in the chair but this was a nice mic in it's $50 yeah so I think I'm getting to the phase that I can like not buy so many plants in bulk like I can actually like I want to slow down you know but I mean if I see I, I can buy like 50 plants if I had the money I would but I want to shop smarter um I don't know it's just a thought I wanted to show you guys that price, but I didn't want to get poked if I picked it up and I didn't want to drop it because it would look so fragile to me. I was getting scared. See, I go back for you. I got you. Look, they have more. Look at these. Oh, these are so pretty. These are so... Like, anybody can have these. You just need a grow light. If you don't have a light, you just need a grow light, Miss Girl. Especially if you're in underwater. <gasps> these will love you. Uh, look at that. Look at that. I really want to get into cactus and cactuses or succulents again. Like, I really do want to. This was really cool. Look at that. That's so cool. I love it. And $9 and a Forbia. Wow. See, here's another one that looked kind of funky. And I was, like, so feeling it. Like, I was like, this is so cool. But it's $35. Um, maybe it's rare. Is there any like cacti cactuses lovers out there? Like, let me know. Like, was this like a really insane find? Oh my god, that basket! I didn't even show it, but that basket was so good with that like cactus. You guys, they had the variegated bear paw succulents. Oh my god, these are adorbs. I killed mine. <laughs> That is so god damn cute. I don't know if you guys can hear the fan. Should I turn off the fan? I don't think you guys can hear the fan. Look at this one. This one's really, really cool too. This will look really cool, like in those face pots. Peanut cactus. I even love the name. Like, I can rem remember that name for sure. And again, these are really great prices. Like, some are really good and some are like, I can find it cheaper at the big box stores. But at the same time, that's if you can find it, you know? This was a great place. I love this place. This one, the name is called Paper Spines. And I was like, I wonder if the spines were like soft. I didn't want it to check because like, I didn't want to get you that. But <laughs> I, that was, that's, this is a really cool one. Imagine like a bunch of cactuses and succulents and small little terracotta pots on the table with a grill. Like that looks so good and cute. I think this is a jade. The back, of, the back of the list looks super duper cool. Like, let me show you. Hurry up. Oh my god, David. Okay, look at that. Look how everything just turns red. I... I love, I love... Succulents are sorted colorful. Okay. I think it's a jade, though. It looks like a jade. Here's a burrito's tail, or a donkey tail, or sinicio. Donkey tail, there you go. See them. Twelve dollars, you guys. That's not a bad deal. I did drop a few leaves. These drop leaves like crazy, okay? But they're really fun to propagate. Really, really fun. 
Like, they will still propagate, like, no one's business. This is a beautiful variegated jade, I believe. This was pretty. Like, I would have still bought this one for sure. I love, I love the foliage. I love the variegation. 1,000%. Add to cart. $8. Look at that. <gasps> Not bad at that be. And I remember, I think I in the big boxes before. I think it turns pink. Can you see the pink sides? Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, sugar, I need to put it back. I want to place it back exactly how I got it because, you know, some people yell at me saying that I always misplace plants. I'm trying my best, y'all. This one was really funky, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. This one was like really funky, but like super duper cool, like in a good way. Take a look at that. Look at that. Wow, thirty-three dollars. I wonder if it's rare, cause I've never ever seen that before. This one was super duper cool too. But I have seen this one in the big box stores, but it's always like eye catching. Eight dollars, that's a really good plan. Oh, lobster claw. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. <laughs> this one was really interesting. I was like, is, are these two different blue smoke? Are these two different plants or is it the same plant? And as I was rotating it, I think it's the same thing. It's just weird how it grows. Look, they had the domino cactus. Dominoes. Oh my god, I crave some pixel right now. <laughs> this is a really, 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 really cool plant. I know like it was like a really trendy plant back then, I don't know if it still is, but it's still really really cool. Again, they had so many cool succulents and cactus, you guys, like, look at, and I just noticed, I don't know why, I just found out, <laughs> but they, they have a string of turtles. I don't have this plant yet, I, I don't know why I don't, I know it's one of my wishlist plants for the longest period of time, but I could never, like, it's because I guess when I see it in person, I freak out. Like, I feel like, see, I just dropped a leaf. I feel like I'm gonna kill it, you know? So I'm just like, can I just admire it? You know? I I don't know, I'm that much of me though. It gives me like a lot, I'm, I'm really scared. <laughs> Does anybody have any tips? Like, if you got any tips for this plant, let us know, please. I really want one, but I'm gonna kill it. Look at that, oh my God. Such a gorgeous plant. Okay, right over here we have some sort of philodendrons. I think these are called moonlight. I'm not that These are way too big, like small for me to know. But these are super duper cute. Look at that. $14 philodendron hybrid. <laughs> super duper cool. And then we have a fun staghorn fern. Look at that. A lot of Jancinas. So this is called the Never Never Plant. Um, it has a lot of names, but let me show you the name that it shows. There it is. I'm not gonna say that, but <laughs> Sinanti for $26. This is not a bad deal. Back then I used to see them a lot. I got my, I think it was like a 10 inch pot and it was massive. I got it from Home Depot first and I paid like $45 for it. And then I started again for like $18 at Walmart. So I got both. Um, first it was a Home Depot and then I got the Walmart because I was like, that's insane. But now I haven't seen them anymore. These are really easy to propagate. 1000%, I would have so got this plant. The only thing is, Melibugs love it. It has crevices like crazy. But if you can like, you know, fix that <laughs> or prevent that, then Again, it's a, from in my hands, a Melibug magnet, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. See, here it is. Again, I just had to like see it again because it's just so pretty. 
I just love like how it looks in the camera, those leaves. Here's a nice Birkins. These are, now we know these are $20 at uh, like Lowe's, whatever, these are 22 The thing is, these are really tall. Like these are a lot more bigger, mature. Also, I really found that pretty, I've never, I, really, I haven't really seen that, seen that. It's gorgeous. So, 1,000% worth the $22. And then look how many babies it has. It looks very full. These plants are so well taken care of. Here, oh my god, here are some stubborn ferns for $22. Look at that. I was trying to show you the price, but it's like right there. Same thing. But, um, they're really, really pretty. I love stubborn ferns. Every time I get them, they always die, but one of these days. Maybe I might, con it's because whenever I buy them, they have a lot of soil. I feel like they'll do better in a chunky mix, like a lot of bark and perlite. Because I feel like whenever I have mine, they always rot. Like, even when I underwater it, like, it's so confusing. Now, here is a crocodile fern, bird's nest fern, for 24 That is not bad. That is not bad at all. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Very nice and healthy and lush. But I don't gotta say that. It's, it's, it speaks for itself. Oh, it's just so pretty, guys. I love it. <laughs> like, it's the perfect name for that plant. You got some really fun aglominias, some more hoyas, a lot of fun plants, a lot, a lot of good plants. I remember when this plant was like the crazy plant back then. And now you can find them in your paper. I mean, in your plant shops, your local plant shops. Forty-eight dollars for this Hoya Linnaeus. You guys, I think I don't know. So Hoyas are really, they're really easy. They give off the same vibes as like aeroids, like your philodendrons, your pothos, and stuff like that. But they act like succulents. In other words, they don't mind neglect, especially if you're not underwater. They're pretty cool with it. Friends, that is basically it. Honestly, the owner was super duper chill and nice. Okay, girl, I get it. <laughs> um, honestly, they really, really did have such an amazing selection. And as y'all saw, I had to do a voiceover. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like explain why. But honestly, it was a pain in the butt to get over here because I'm literally across town. But at the same time, it's so worth it. Like that star in front of you guys and the other beautiful plants that they had. I'm currently on a no plant buy, so. <laughs> I'm going strong for like, I think a week. <laughs> but yeah, like that's such an amazing selection. I love it so much. I will be coming here regularly. It's a person coming by. But um, yeah, so I'll see you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay positive. I see each and every one of you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Also, ignore my dirty window, but like here it is. Tillage. Such a cute place. I love it.